was here. You said it for George Washington. If we get fouled, we got a chance. Great play. I love that defense. Carino to slam. That's ball pressure again. And I said before, about 10 minutes into the game, I thought that all of a sudden, GW. Well, and here comes Carino. Right to the rim. He does. It scores. Yeah. We've had a couple of oh, inbounds pass. Carino's got it. One on one with Cobb. Matola gives it up. Garino. He doesn't settle for something outside. Tries to go. Good decision. Another good decision and a blow by by Garino. And tonight, the Brooklyn Hoops invitational. Oh, he slipped. If there's a tie up. The Bearcats would get it. No need to go for three. Just go for a high percentage. That's pretty hot question for a cook tonight. Garino got the step on Kyle Davis. A very good the bullet. Deshaun Pierre was open again for yeah. a three-pointer. Look at the step by the Argent. Shot clock at seven. Garino. That was blocked. Contact from out there. And Cincinnati makes nine per game. Garino, another one? Yep. <laughs> today Watanabe working off a high pick Carino that's another three swings a pass out extra pass well, there's <laughs> nice double Carino for three. Oh, -ho! Wow! out to Larson rotated back to Garino and he hits the three Six minutes without a bucket. Garino leaning in and a left three. Smooth shot from Garino. Garino got space off the front rim. About 115 miles is making some noise. Well, they should make noise. The team is doing what everybody wanted them to do. Nice pass. Virginia, and here is the senior, McDonald. Kavanaugh posting up. They're coming with the big to big double. We'll talk. Uh, Joe, Joe McDonald trying to find where he can go. And it didn't look like it was an action. He shot the ball very well. Nice pass. Watanabe, the answer. Well, I do is I get the ball inside and get really wide open. The more open you are, the better chance. Nice drive. A slice from Watson. That's a nice move. Oh, I like that. Kavanaugh cutting down. I know that, but the game of good effort plays are what wins you basketball. Nice slip. Kavanaugh can't move. These two teams really didn't have a long time to scout one another. They played last night, and here they are. At As is he in the corner, he goes to the block, and then you see a series of down screens. They'll have to, but they do it without falling. It's amazing. McDonald. Oh. Oh. Garino dumps it down. Larson's not even looking to shoot right now. Pass inside. Ah. It's confused on offense right now. Garino turns the corner. There's some of the size. Garino challenging McIlvain out of that zone. Garino on the drive. Trailed by eight, and they came all the way back to take a four-point lead with their great shooting. The biggest issue for them in the first half was turnovers. They had eight of them. Remember last year in this game, George Washington led by four at the half and got outscored 37-16. You can't hurry here. Not against this team. You can get plenty of help. Nice pass. Bearcats ranked number 24. The Colonials, if you extended out, they'd be ranked number 27. Garino with a floater. And Dayton gets is a good look. Yeah. On the other hand, Garino's working in profile was off the chart. Duke as well. So it's going to be a year where I don't expect quick. Good pick and roll. Kavanaugh and just a killer. Yeah. And if it wasn't for the three pointers. And the Craig Robinson, Joe Lunardi, two of the top teams in one of the best conferences in the country in the Atlantic 10. Patricio.
Anderson sweeping. Oh, the tip is there. Guerrero follows. I like it. Kavanaugh on Toby. Some contact, and he got his. Lost his wide open. Jorgensen. Oh, beautiful tip. My goodness, Guerrero. Continue playing defense and working hard. Nice catch by Matola. Guerrero got a hand in. McDonald was tripped. Here comes Brockton, the leading returning scorer. And I like where he's playing. Not right now, but I would like to see him look to score more. Let's just take the, the simple fact. Virginia has not got a foul shot. Virginia has inside. Toby scored great coming down the stretch. I think the... If they live on jump shots, no. In international play, he was 11 watching them play in 2004 through tears tonight. Yeah. 10 0 run for TW. Bronson, a huge. Get out of that because all Cincinnati's doing is switching. Garino tried to force a pass. Copain makes him. Great penetration and kick for a splash. Cobb covered up in a hurry. Tries a. Cobb drives in. No. Eternal. McDonald loses it. Here comes Cobb. Nice. Back to Ellis. And that is a... When you're tired, the first thing to go is your outside shooting. Yeah, the legs start to go and the shots get a little off. That was a terrible pass by Jorgensen, and he knew it. Well, Watanabe bails him out momentarily until Cook two times. This is not an easy league, no. man. This is about as tough as it comes for this level. Cook no good, and Garino... The cut by Cook, able to corral it, powering against Garino. So far for Virginia, they're going to have to ramp that up, you think? No question. I think they're going to get it open. Three seconds. Where do you go? They're going to go upstairs. Brogdon. Yeah. Good the ending I didn't like because it's too soft. you got to go into folks. Brogdon. That's an early shot at you, never mind the fishing. I tried, but I had a tough time with it. You know he's going to hook. He had a great game yesterday as well for Cincinnati. That Clark Kavanaugh matchup is. Looking up at the rims for a rebound. Didn't see it. Copain works to the free throw. Held. He did return and debuted against Arkansas in late December, playing in his sixth game back. Cook Anthony Swan coming off the bench mm -hmm. is more than you expected. Crosby weaving his way. What a tough shot. I like the way Virginia's exploring the fast break. They don't have to score it, they explore it. But after two straight days, need big man penetration. And I like what he does. And by the way, he recognized right away the open scene. Back to Bronson, beautiful. Copain looking inside to Ellis again. Long three from Cobb. Most impressive win, a victory over sixth-ranked Virginia. Well, against St. Louis, and then their next game will begin against Michigan State next Wednesday. Denzel Valentine with a triple-double. The other minutes left in this half, and GW had an opportunity to pull away, and they haven't. Or, excuse me, Cincinnati has. That's a charm. Unless they do it in back-to-back -back fashion. <laughs> Shaq Thomas <laughs> accepted. Deflection. Tipped away. Ten minutes to go in regulation. And his starters are starting to log a lot of minutes. <laughs> Left wide open. Copper Garino. And Garino gets that position by the Flyers. McIlvain passed out of the double teams. And George Washington has gone to their 1-3-1, which is causing Dayton a little bit of a problem. away by Garino and three pointer pretty soon. That was not an open, but he can once again elevate enough to get a shot. Who takes over for the Cavaliers? Perez has two strong. Going to be a fun one to watch too. Great matchups all over the court. Well, tonight. look at that, seven for ten overall. Well, that's one thing, but they want to make sure they keep the ball out of the paint and actually force Cincinnati to start. 
There's the catch. There's the shot. No. Garino fighting for it. Oh. And there's Oklahoma right now. They're looking like a one seed. Buddy Heald's playing as well as anybody in the country. What are your thoughts about what you see? None of the current number one seeds would have been close to a top line spot a year ago when you're talking.